Welcome to Spotlight on Local Artists, presented by Charlotte County Libraries and History. I'm Judy Domzelski, and today I will be chatting with Jim Hollenbeck, whose colorful digital artwork is currently on display here at Mid-County Regional Library. Welcome, Jim. Thank you for having me. Jim, please tell us how you first became interested in digital photography and Photoshop. Um, I, I started playing with Photoshop um, back in the 2005s. Uh, I started with something called uh, Photoshop Elements. And there was a magazine then called uh, uh, Photoshop Elements Techniques, PET, and it was it was done by Photoshop, and it, it was a great magazine that that uh, that explained how to do things, uh, and it it covered everything from beginner to intermediate, mm -hmm. as far as you were going to go with. Uh, 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 with Photoshop Elements, and I had a uh, um, had a lot of I don't know, I guess of luck playing with that. And then in about 2013, I went on a vacation to Maine, and on the, in the first week in May, and I took a lot of pictures of, of boats. We stayed at Bar Harbor, and it was beautiful up there. Mm -hmm. But in, in the first week of May in Maine, everything is gray. Everything is gray. The sky is gray. The, the water is gray. The boats are gray. Everything is gray. So when I, when I came back from that uh, uh, vacation, I had uh, uh, two, three hundred pictures of, of gray. <laughs> and I started trying to add color to, uh, to my pictures. And in Photoshop, you can do that. You can, it's, I don't, um, you can turn the saturation way up, and and just make it really bright. And then you got to work on how to tone that down a little bit to get something that doesn't look really offensive, uh, that looks very colorful, but but not not completely over the top. You know these That's these colors here are color, but they're not, they don't jump out and bite you. They, <laughs> they're not fluorescent like, like they could be. So the, the picture in the middle in particular, that's beautiful and very vivid in color. Uh, did that originally start out as one of your gray that, photos? That was a second trip, but it wasn't as gray as some. But <laughs> <laughs> but in, it's certainly in not a, gray now. It's that is beautiful. Jim, do you have any formal training in the art field? Not really. I've uh, I take a, taking a few art classes now over at the uh, Visual Arts Center oh, in nice. Punta Gorda. Mm -hmm. I like it over there. Uh, I'm, I'm working on uh, 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 paint now. Uh, trying to get drawing and, and paint improve my drawing and paints so uh, trying to get this these things are all they all start with photographs um, I'm trying to start with something other than photographs too do you think you'll maintain the vivid colors that are character characteristic of you yes that that part will <laughs> that <laughs> I will uh, even even when people are trying to teach me how to tone things down, I've, I've resisted. <laughs> <laughs> you had shared with me earlier that your favorite medium in painting would be watercolor. At, at the moment, that's the thing that I'm working on. I've, I've done some stuff in, uh, uh, in acrylic, and, and I'm, I'm getting into watercolor a little bit. I, I like the the ability of watercolor to, to mix and to get bright colors. You can, you can do bright colors like this. You can keep 
and I'm, I'm trying to learn how to control it. Interesting. <laughs> that's, the, uh, that's the key to, to watercolor is to make it do what you want rather than that it wants. That's the thing with these is more, more or less it's what happens when, when you apply the technique. You, you get what you get. Uh, with, uh, with other things, you, have to, you, you, you can control it more. You've said that you have not taken any formal art classes, and yet you did share with me that you have, are a college graduate. What was your focus in college? <laughs> Actually, uh, business and, and economics in college, and then uh, by the luck of my uh, jobs, I ended up as an engineer, uh, an industrial engineer. I did, uh, I reviewed cost proposals for um, government contractors. They would tell the government how much they think this thing that the government wants should cost, mm. and then we review that to see if there were, uh, if, if that's a good price or not. Quite different fields, really. <laughs> um, has art in photography always been an interest for you? A, a little bit of an interest, not, uh, not, not a lot. I really didn't get into this until it was in, in my 60s. So, you know, I got to the point where I could, you know, af afford a camera that uh, that would always take good pictures. Uh, what kind of camera are you using? Uh, just uh, entry level Nikon, Nikon 3, uh, 3500. Interesting. And. Uh, where in with my old cameras I take a dozen pictures I might get one or two that are halfway decent with this camera if I take a dozen pictures I get 10 that are that are pretty good uh, that, that I like and that Which you don't have to purchase the film <laughs> anymore <laughs> right and that that's another big thing uh, I, I had taken some uh, some photo cl classes in the past with uh, with film, but I, I do like the fact that you can take a uh, hundred pictures now and it doesn't cost you anything. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> even if they're all gray. <laughs> right, right, especially if they're all gray. <laughs> are there artists or other people in your life right now who inspire you or influence your work? Oh, I... Uh, I, I don't think so. Uh, you know, I've I've met a few artists around town that uh, um, Shelley Bell I, I mm. know, and and I like I like her stuff a lot. I I showed at the uh, um, Charlotte County Art Gallery in the mall at the mall, and that that's really a good place to uh, to see local artists. By the way. And, uh, there's, there's five or six uh, local artists over there all the time. The lighting in there is really nice yeah. too. There's See? a lot of natural lighting right. in the mall, which probably makes them look even brighter, I would think. But nice. That was a nice trip. Nice thing I've done over there a little bit. What do you like most when you look at your art, like the beautiful stuff behind us here? When you look at it objectively, what what do you like most about it? I I like that it it hints at reality. It's not you take photographs and you get reality, right? And this takes away some of that. You can't see the lady's face, you but you know all of that stuff is there. There's the castle in the background, and then a the horse is obviously. Or, but it only hints, and this thing doesn't. You know, the the rocks are uh, are hinted at, and the the, uh, and the, the shore bird line over there here. is uh, is is kind of hinted at. He uh, he comes out of the uh, the background. There's almost an abstract element to it when you get away from the primary focus. Yeah. And that that I like, and I and I and I like the colors. The, the the colors more than more than anything else is to how to keep uh, how to how to keep the colors in. You know, it's most people wouldn't uh, increase the saturation as as high as it would go, but you start there and then try to tone it down. Is is the way I work. That's beautiful. Uh, 
We're quite a um, diverse community here in Charlotte County, as you've, as you've yeah. noted. Um, we have a lot of different age groups as well, from little kids all the way up to seniors. Yeah. Um, we had talked a little bit about retirement and the opportunity it presents for people to explore your talents. What advice would you have for people who would like to explore their artistic talent just to get started and just well, do it? <laughs> yeah, just do it. Don't say you can't do it. Just just try it. Try it. I there's so many things I you know it, it's difficult for me to, to pin down any one thing uh, that, I, that I want to try. I, I do a lot of stuff. And during my you know, previous life, uh, when I was working, I did a lot of work, woodwork, and that, that was uh, fun. I've gotten to the point where uh, I've gotten, gotten away, to, away from that some, and I got into the photography uh, business. I've been trying to paint a little more. I still do a, a few things. I've, I've done a few things around the house that my, uh, my wife appreciates, I think. I so retirement's <laughs> probably busier for you than Ye actual yes. working in a way. I, I have not been bored with retirement. That's, uh, that's, that, that's the, one, the one good thing. I, you know, I, I, uh, I have lots of, of things that are you know, waiting for me to get to them. <laughs> That's inspirational, I think, definitely, for and people in retirement now. Yeah, I, I've, I've not had any problem at all with uh, boredom in retirement. It's, Fantastic. I retired in 2016, and even, even this year, as, you know, as, as hard as it's been to get anywhere, I've not, uh, no, there's 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 so many things that I could do, that that, that I that I can do at home. I'm a, I'm kind of a private person, uh, so it, it's easy for me to to play play. You know, some little kids could, are good to put playing yeah. all by themselves. Yeah. I, can, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> when we were talking earlier about where you'd like to go with your artwork. And we were discussing um, watercolors, which is a wonderful medium, of course. And um, I asked you if you tried any yet. I was hoping you were going to say this on your own, but um, <laughs> so I'm going to say it for you. But right. it was really delightful. And you said, yes, you've painted quite a few pictures and they're a little better than bad right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I thought that was nice. Yeah. and. Looking uh, at all of these, we can we can see they're going to the, be the one thing about these is you don't have to draw. Them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you that's very the, true. You don't you don't yeah. have to draw the boats. You don't ha you don't have to draw the birds. But but that's it. It, it leaves something out too. That, uh, um, yeah. If, if you don't draw it. Well, it's been really wonderful chatting with you today. I. I know that you're a private person, you like your time, and I've met you on another couple of occasions. And I did share with a friend, I hope, <laughs> hope Jim is going to chat. You've been, had a wonderful personality today, and we've really enjoyed Thank you. meeting with you and talking to you. Um, as I said earlier, Jim's wonderful artwork is on display here at Mid-County Regional Library and it's going to be here through December 31st, the end of the year. Are you going to be displaying anywhere else after that? No, I, I don't think so. That'll, that, that's, that's all I have at the, at the moment. I would like to get back to, uh, I will probably be putting individual things in the, the Visual Arts Center. Wonderful. Uh, you know, they have uh, shows every couple of months. And I'll, and I'll probably do smaller things that shows over there. Yeah. Nice. Well, it's been a real pleasure. Thanks for coming well, to join us today. Thanks for having me. I'm, I'm glad to Very see you. Very nice. Hope to see you lot. back here on display pretty soon. All right.